Hey guys, Trent here. Uh, today I wanted to show you uh, a really awesome power supply that for the for most people, the majority of people, the average person uh, will want in case, say, they are uh, ever replacing the power supply in their store-bought computer, whether they bought it at Best Buy or Costco or just whatever, um, and or Dell, and they need the power supply replaced. Uh, this would be, uh, I think, your first choice, or should be your first choice. So uh, it's basically, it's made by Corsair. This is a CX430. Uh, it's a 430 watt power supply, and that might sound like a lot to some of you, and might sound like a little to some of you. Um, but just know that for most of you, uh, your current computers most likely have really frankly really horrible power supplies to begin with really bad quality but they have about 160 to 300 watt power supplies usually uh, so very low to begin with very low so when it dies you know you might even take it to a mechanic or, or a PC technician to replace it or whatever um, or you might be trying to do it yourself it's really not that hard to do uh, if you have any experience with working on computer hardware uh, but if not, you can even have, you know, uh, try and have this picked out as your part. If you're having it done by a technician, you can try and request for this part for the power supply unless they have something that's they feel is equally good. But this is a really, really nice power supply. And now this at uh, the time of purchase was 40 bucks. It could be more or less uh, when you're watching this. But uh, anyway, that's a really great price. Uh, like, for example, I went into Best Buy. This is just... You know my experience but went to Best Buy and they had a really uh, bad a 400 watt insignia power supply for $39.99 so 40 bucks so the same price as this I only had to wait a, you know a couple days for shipping on this where at Best Buy um, you know that power supply was already really horrible I would not want to put that in my computer only had a one-year warranty um, yeah and the same price so um, and that was like a, the only thing locally uh, that uh, we have for power supplies, basically. So, anyways, pick, I would pick this up uh, really easily um, and uh, online. So, uh, anyway, this has some really incredible features too that Insignia or other cheap power supplies will not match. So, before I open it, just want to show you that it has a uh, three-year warranty. Most power supplies are one. Okay, this is a true sign of like quality. They're showing like they're backing it with a minimum three year warranty right here. Uh, it's so it'll and I, I guarantee it's gonna last a lot longer than that. But um, especially if you keep dust out and stuff, you uh, it also has is eighty plus bronze certified, which means it's uh, very power efficient. Um, so some power supplies, for example, aren't even eighty or eighty plus. So Basically, there's below 80 plus, then, then there's 80 plus, then there's 80 plus bronze. This is 80 plus bronze, so it's already far and away higher efficiency than, like, say, the Insignia unit or any other uh, ge uh, generic power supply or most power supplies. This is a lot more power efficient, um, which means less heat, lasts longer. It means uh, you get more of the actual stated wattage. You get a lot more of it. Um and uh, you use less energy uh, so um, you know over time it's it's cheaper and it's more energy efficient so uh, for the same wattage so uh, anyway they also by the way one last thing before I open it they have a CX 430 M the M stands for modular uh, it's almost all modular except for the main power cable but what that means is that the cables are you can separate them from the unit and only plug in the ones that you need for the de for the uh, devices inside that you need uh, power for. So I'm just gonna kind of quickly unbox this because anyway. Um, so warranty guide or and let's see. Um, okay, it just looks like safety information. some zip ties so black screws uh, there's two other really cool things about this power supply you guys um, now um, 
first you can see that the cable, this normal power cable, you can see that the internal cables that go on the inside of the computer are all wrapped and, and neat and um, protected, slim, so, so they block less air. You know, they can be uh, easily hid away in cracks and crevices if you don't need the cable. Ample power. Uh, see, we got, I'll try and go through it quickly. Two SATA power, uh, two more SATA power, uh, three Molex tra uh, traditional power connectors. Now you got, or right here you got a PCI Express six port plus two more. So if it's a, a graphics, generally this is for graphics cards. So um, if you have a graphics card that has a six port or wants an eight port, uh, eight pin connector, this can do that. It just uh, connects, or it just you just stick it in at the same time. But anyway, um, so that's good. That's uh, that's going to support like any graphics card out there. Uh, and then you got the main power cable for the motherboard. Nice and neat, feels good. I like this mesh. Anyway, um, and then finally you got this eight pin motherboard connector. Now, a lot of people wonder about this, but some um, for a lot of people you might, especially if it's a, it's a you know factory computer like that you would get the uh, most local stores, you may only have a four pin connector on your motherboard. This is like a, a supplementary motherboard ca uh, power connector. So you will need this connector no matter what motherboard you have. But the question is, do you want it? Um, sorry, I'm trying to separate this here. Do you want it as a four pin or as a, or do you need it as a four pin or as an eight pin? So you can actually, you can't even tell by the online photos really, but you can totally just disconnect it. So this is something I even was wondering about, really wondering about before I bought it and I started to get worried until, until I got it and realized. So uh, anyway, some people even get it and they don't realize they can take it apart. So this could be important, especially if you're doing it yourself. Again, it's just a supplementary, a supplementary uh, power cable for the motherboard that you, you will need one way or another, but whether it's a four pin, just use the one four pin, or if it's the newer motherboards that use an eight pin, you can just do that. So that's pretty cool that it does that as well. Uh, I, sh I was uh, wanting to mention too, to anybody who is like a power user or maybe gamers, um, this unit will deliver a lot of power, like a lot more than other 430 watt units. So even though they're the stated the same rated wattage, be, um, there's a huge difference. Because this is much higher quality components, uh, because this uh, is much more energy efficient, uh, it delivers a lot more power than average uh, or even low grade 430 watt power supplies. So this, this uh, and most graphics cards, most, especially if it's just one graphics card, uh, will definitely be able to be handled by this. Especially nowadays, computers don't have a lot of other components. They don't have like a ton of DVD drives or a ton of hard drives usually. Especially if you're going with, if you have a solid state drive in your computer, that uses very little electricity. So things, computers are getting more energy efficient all the time, which means that the biggest hog would be the graphics card, and this should be able to handle most graphics cards. You can check your graphics card rating or um, wattage requirement, but um, likely it'll handle even above what the watts say for your, your graphics card requirement. Um, but uh, anyway, this the other cool thing is you now see that this is uh, powder coated black. So it's not this ugly tin gray cheap crud material. It's uh, this thick like steel material is what it feels like. It's very solid, very solid. Uh, powder coated nice, nice texture, very durable looking. Um, it's got this 120 millimeter fan, I believe. Uh, let's see. If I can't find it, then I'll just move on. But 
Anyway, pretty sure it's a 120 millimeter fan, and that keeps it uh, nice and cool and very quiet compared to a lot of other power supply units. So some other cheap ones from the stores might come with one like this big, you know, like it's ridiculous. So, um, and you got this nice grill. This will be what's on the back of the computer. So um, you got a sticker on top of here, the Corsair. That's clear sticker you can remove uh, for the projection. So I'll just actually remove it. Well, maybe not. I'll do that later. <laughs> so you got nice labeling on both sides. So some newer computer cases want to have power supplies upside down. And uh, this gives you that flexibility. So even if you're getting this for an older computer, but maybe you think you want to move on when it, uh, you get a better computer, you might want to bring this with it or put this in the better computer or whatever. Um, it's future proof for that. So it, it can go upside down in certain computers and still show the CX, the, the labeling correctly, uh, right side up or back this way for other computers. So yeah, um, all in all, like with everything you're getting, like just so many more benefits you that you've heard me mention throughout this video than you would get with any cheap or generic power supply or even most power supplies that you might think are a good brand. Uh, a lot of them use a lot of the same really cruddy components. Corsair is known for, uh, I mean, this is a really, a really like heavy uh, unit. This really, really high quality. Corsair is known uh, for, you know, b beyond memory, making memory and stuff. Um, they're known for making really top notch uh, power supplies that are of like the highest quality. They're really, uh, I have a Corsair in my computer right now. They're really great units. Um, so, um, and I also have a 430. So in my computer I have a 700 or 750 watt silver rated power supply. But anyway, in the computer downstairs we have this power supply and it's been just running beautiful for uh, almost two years now. So, um, yeah, you can also see the fan noise. Oh, here, I'll bring this in. Uh, on the back of the box, you can see the, uh, hopefully you can see this, the fan noise and with, excuse me, the fan noise uh, with system load um, and how it's really good and the power efficiency, how it's better than other power supplies. Um, let's see here. Yep, the uh, fan is 120 millimeter, spins at low RPM, at low low loads, so when your computer is just idle, it's nearly imperceptible, you can barely hear it, and quietly speeds up as needed to cool the power supply. This is just a really uh, um, good power supply. It says uh, also that it features 85% efficiency, so that, eight, that 80 plus bronze we were talking about, that's what that means, is that it's able to get 85% efficiency to reduce power usage heat generation and noise levels so it's just all it extends the life of the unit I mean there's a lot of good reasons to get 80 plus or, um, 80 plus 80 plus bronze uh, 80 plus silver 80 plus gold well you don't need gold or anything like that those get really expensive but my point is is that uh, that insignia one wasn't even 80 plus basic it wasn't even close to anything like this so um, same price too in this scenario so yeah i hope you guys liked the video i hope you guys like the unit for most of you you're gonna love picking this up it's also gonna make your computer look better uh with this nice matte black in the back where the power supply is and i mean if you're ever looking at the back of your computer um yeah pretty cool and i really can't recommend it uh enough <laughs>